Hey, Washington football fans. Well, we had a bye week this weekend, so no football for us. However, a lot of us did get a chance to watch other football games, and I enjoyed kind of going back and forth between several games. Certainly, I enjoyed the Dallas game. Cheers. As many of you, I'm sure, did. Um, you know, being down here in Carolina, you always kind of have a soft heart. At least I have a soft heart for the uh, Carolina Panthers. Uh, they're the hometown team, so I always want them to do well. They need a quarterback, man. Uh, I tell you, uh, Sam Darnold is not it. Uh, watching him play, I was like, oh, I just was not impressed. Really was not impressed at all. Uh, I think they're going to continue to struggle throughout the rest of the season. Uh, I mean, they started off great, and then things just cooled off quite a bit for the Carolina Panthers. Uh, watching some of the other games, um, you know, the uh, New York Giants, um, Las Vegas Raiders game was was interesting. Um, you know, I really thought that the Raiders would come back to tie that game, and you know, Derek Carr throws the pick, and that was pretty much it. You know, uh, the Giants, they have come so close. Like, the, the games they've lost, it's not like they've, you know, they have gotten, like, beat up and, and you know, blown out. They have come so close. I mean, <laughs> seriously, right now, their record could be probably the reverse because the games they have lost, they have not lost by much. So... You know, pains me to say this as a Washington football fan, but, you know, the, the Giants, um, they are on the cusp. I think if they can just do a couple of things better, I mean, you're looking at a team that could easily uh, compete for the NFC East title in another year or so. Uh, Dallas, yeah, you know, Dallas has been on fire this whole season and then uh, you know I don't know what happened to them yesterday but they looked pretty terrible <laughs> um, you know I mean I, I watched that game for a little bit until I think it got to what was it uh, 27 to nothing or something like that and then I was like well pretty much Denver had that game under control uh, so, you know, it's always fun whenever it's by week, you know, it's like you can sit back and watch football without having anxiety, without, you know, getting mad or upset or anything like that. You know, if there's a game that is not going your way, just switch it to another game, enjoy that. And it's pretty much what I did. I, I enjoyed watching football yesterday. I really, really did. Um, you know, the other thing I want to talk about, too, is the fact that Congress has pretty much said that the NFL did comply, but only partially. Um, the NFL did hand over some documentation. No surprise that there was documentation to be handed over. However, uh, they did not comply completely. So, um, you know, they had, they had enough time to get Congress what they needed. Obviously, we know that this is all kind of a, a play. I mean, it's it's a, no pun intended, it's a game to the NFL, right? So, you know, they're, they're thinking we're just going to give them something. They're going to say that, oh, you know, this is not enough. And so it's going to be like a back and forth type of thing for a little bit until, you know, finally maybe Congress is able to get a couple of guys to come in front of them and to testify. So uh, that's likely that's what's going to happen. Uh, Congress now is uh, saying that they need the gag orders lifted on all of the folks who want to be able to tell their side of the story. And there are folks who do want to tell their side of the story who have not been able to tell their side of the story. So if that those gag orders are lifted, uh, this is going to really be some trouble for Daniel Snyder because there have been accusations that Daniel Snyder was complicit in all of this sexual harassment stuff. And so, you know, he's he's claiming innocence that he had nothing to do with it. We all kind of know that 
likely. That that probably was not true. And this is a chance to really expose that to see if it is. Now, I tell you what, if Congress is actually successful with bringing a lot of the stuff to light, uh, the NFL is going to have to step in and say, okay, you know, we, we've got to get rid of Daniel Snyder. I mean, I know that sounds like a pipe dream, but this is starting to get serious, folks. And, and you know, if this does start getting to the point to where Congress is going to bring people in to testify, you know, and bringing someone like Daniel Snyder in. Now, he, he may not say anything. He may say he's pleading the fifth, and he absolutely can. But it may not even take him having to, you know, testify. It might be enough that, you know, his accusers come forth and say, this is what happened. And if that's the case, I mean, certainly it's a Jerry Rich Richardson thing as well. I mean, you got to you got to get rid of Daniel Snyder. If you if you got rid of Jerry Richardson, you got to get rid of Daniel Snyder. And uh, so, remains to be seen how quickly that Congress is going to move with this. Um, you know, certainly us Washington football fans, we would love to see this happen quickly. If it is going to wind up turning out, you know, the way that we hope it does. Um, other than that, you know, honestly, I any other time I hate it when Congress gets involved in stuff like this because it's like, don't you have anything better else to do? You know, like right now we have, um, you know, the price of, of gasoline that keeps going up, the price of food and, and all of this stuff. And it seems like Congress could, you know, use their time better to, to really help uh, the citizens of the United States. But at the same time, when you do have a corporation, you know, this mega corporation like the NFL, who obviously is hiding things that should not be hidden. I mean, sexual harassment, no one should have to deal with sexual harassment in a workplace you know, or any other time, right? And, you know, if this actually, if this actually does help to, to, you know, bring to light those that the NFL have been protecting for all the wrong reasons, it needs to happen. Um, you know, part of me is, is kind of like, you know, this is probably going to be like a, you know, dog and pony show. Nothing's probably going to come, you know, come of it. It's just going to be a big waste of time. Uh, the other side of me, though, is hopeful that if this is going to happen, let's I mean, let, let's get it in there quickly. Let, let, let's, let's get the show on the road, and I want to see some heads roll. You know, I want to hear some stories. I, I think that, you know, some of these ladies, they deserve their stories to be told, and it should be told. I, I think there's a lot that needs to be brought to light. I don't think that we heard everything that there was to hear in terms of what happened with the Washington football team. And I'm sure that this is also going to expose not just Daniel Steiner, but it's going to expose a lot of owners, a lot of other teams in the league as well. And yeah, this could be very detrimental to the NFL, definitely as far as its reputation, which right now I would probably dare to say that its reputation is you know, kind of walking on the tightrope as it is. Um, you know, just, it does make me sick that the NFL is trying to protect those just because they're bringing in mega bucks into the league. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, that, that you know, uh, yeah, money rules the world, I guess, but uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. And that's what you're seeing right now. And, you know, you're going to start brushing aside all the evil that happens just for the sake of the almighty dollar. And it catches up with you after a while. Don't care who you are. Don't care how rich you are. It catches up. It's, going, it, it's definitely going to catch up to the NFL. And I think right now this is probably just the tip of the iceberg. Um, but, yeah, certainly as a Washington football fan, and I'm sure 98% of the other Washington football fans 
will say the same thing. We want to see Daniel Snyder out of there. And if this is what it takes to get Daniel Snyder out as owner of the Washington football team, then we're all for it. You know, I'd, I'd try to maybe take up for Daniel Steiner, give him the benefit of the benefit of the doubt and, you know, pass the videos maybe like a year or so later because, you know, started seeing what the Washington football team was doing to change the culture. So, you know, my thought process was, you know, if Daniel Steiner was implicit of, you know, some of these accusations, he's not going to be doing what he's doing to, you know, change the culture. But after hearing some of the, the tone deaf things that his wife said at the recent owners meetings. Yeah, you know, they're still hiding something and we're probably going to find out eventually. Uh, it may not be as soon as we want, but we're going to find out. Man, that being said, I got to start this Monday morning. I hate Mondays. <laughs> Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next one.